The first document in your trust package is the living trust itself. Don't be intimidated by the number of pages because like all comprehensive trusts, it is comprised of a great deal of standard language. While this standard language may be important and necessary to a well-functioning trust, few will find it to be exciting or desirable reading. That is why we choose to first focus your attention on the parts of the trust we believe are most relevant and personally important to you. And they can all be found in the first pages of your trust. Most importantly, page one declares your trust and sets forth your names, the name and date of your trust, and how trust assets should be titled. Page two sets forth your family information and your choice of successor, trustee, or trustees. Page three sets forth the distribution of the trust estate at the first spouse's death, generally outright to the surviving spouse. Page four verifies how the husband wants the estate divided after both spouses are deceased, which is generally equally among the children. It also specifies the minimum age a beneficiary must attain before being allowed to manage their own inheritance. Page five verifies how the wife wants the estate divided after both spouses are deceased, which also is generally equally among the children. It too sets forth the minimum age a beneficiary must attain before being allowed to manage their own inheritance. Finally, many of you are interested in specifying distributions of certain personal effects, and you will find instructions for doing so at the top of page six. The balance of the trust contains all the standard trust clauses tax clauses, accounting clauses, potential subtrust, and other supporting language. They give the trust functionality, flexibility, and adaptability. And though many may never apply to you, they need to be there just in case. Though we wouldn't want to discourage anyone from this exciting reading, be forewarned as to its standard boring and sleep-inducing nature. That said, Trusts need this kind of language just as a car needs many parts and safety features. Yet it is unlikely that many find the shop manual very interesting. When you're ready, you should sign your trust as soon as possible where indicated on the last page of your trust. Notice that you need to sign twice, once as the settler of your trust and once as the trustee of your trust. If you are married, you both need to sign twice. When you have your trust notarized, make sure that the notary stamps, completes, and signs both notary areas.